Hey, what's happening, everybody? I had some uh, sad news yesterday, so I've just been laying low. But I got a uh, box in the mail, so I thought I'd unbox it and review it. And first thing, before we get started, everybody needs to go to a uh, Play Store. And see this? Where are we at here? See that Vipon? Type in that Vipon. Right here is what it's going to look like. Vipon deals, coupons, and promo codes. You open that up, and it's going to tell you all kinds of. Uh, deals and stuff coming up but what when the deal happens you click on it say get the coupon and then it, you copy the coupon and it'll take you to Amazon and then you add the whatever to your cart and then you put in the coupon code so I got this box for $40 it was listed for 80 but using that Vipon I got this uh, TX92 S912 3 gigabyte 32 gigabyte octa-core So we are going to move this camera out. We are going to unbox it and review it. Give me something to do. Nice little cool design. cord we have a remote and an HDMI cord so that's first of all TX92 got power on button there it's like we got uh, power cord jack HDMI Ethernet to USB 2.0 and SP diff and that looks like it's got a SD slot there we got a display there and that's it. And the remote. Needs two AAA batteries. Doesn't look like it comes with it. But volume up, volume down, mouse button, menu button, home button, back button, your directional pad, mute button power button I'm also gonna be using I always use a mini keyboard and right now I'm loving the uh, Q9 you can find these on eBay from anywhere from $11 to $18 but it's got a whole rainbow of colors you just uh, hold down 
a function RGB button and then run your finger across there to, to switch your colors I like the bright color Q9 keyboard I'll be using that while I'm setting this I'll test out the remote but alright so there's anyway I'm gonna get everything set up on this TV and I will be back when I before I plug it in to watch it boot up alright I think we're back now I am going to plug the power cord into the TV or into the deal see the light comes on got boot it says 8 core 64 bit looks like the uh, shield boot up there you're still reading boot on display here Oh, it's a little different. I got it etherneted too. So, and then I plugged in my keyboard. So, we're reading uh I oh, don't know, it's got a little alarm there. Maybe that means AM, so we'll have to pay attention to that ethernet sign there. It's reading 4:30 AM. So, the first thing we need to do See if my remote works. Yep, my keyboard's working. So, yep, settings first thing. I'm on 1080 time zone ad adjustment. We are in the Midwest, so we're looking for central daylight time. And now it is 11.31, but that symbol still stayed at the bottom, so that can't be AM, PM. So what else do we have here? We have cable connected, wireless disconnected, Bluetooth. Let's go back to here. Let's do a speed test while we're here. Oops. I don't ever trust these speed to I like the Ookla speed test. Let's see if I shut this off. If that helped or not but yeah I don't like these speed tests because you can't looks like it's got a kill apps deal so here's the apps it comes with here air screen app installer chrome file browser and gallery kill apps music mu movie player mob dro mirror cast media center add-ons Netflix Play Store, Read Log, Settings, Speed Test, YouTube, Update and Backup, TV Center. Let's go Settings, TV Center, Apps, and back to Settings. So it looks like it's customizable. You can add stuff here and stuff. So, do you guys want to just follow along with me and let's just start? getting my what I use so let's go to Chrome oh 
I'll pause it while I sign in. All right. Now we signed in. Now we agree. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Click on unknown sources. So let me hit my home button. Did you guys see a spot for unknown source? Settings. Common. More settings. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, this is what we're used to over here. So let's go all the way down here. Security and restrictions is what I'm on. Oh, it's already on. Unknown sources. So that's already good. I wonder why that was off there. So it's only it doesn't have hardly any apps, guys. Just your system apps and four other apps. Wonder what that launcher is called though. That's a pretty sweet launcher. Hmm. So anyway, I'm just hitting my back, so let me try to double press my home button. What's that, 1836 stuff there? Oh, there it goes. I'm holding my home button. That ain't doing nothing. All right, so it just left off. All right, so... Why didn't it sign in over here? Oh, there we go. What do I want to do first? What do I always do? Let's get APK time. APK time dot APK. I always look for the one with the Cody apps. Click on it. You scroll down. Right down here. It says APK Time Website. It underlines it. Click on it. Right here is the official URL for APK Time. But over here along the side, APK Time. allow hit OK we're going to open it we're going to install we will hit done I'm going to hit my home button now we're going to go to the Google Play Store I'm going to get my signed in yep I'm going to get ADA 64. I am going to install it. Let's just open that puppy up right now. This tells you about the inside of your box here. So I have nothing, no knowledge about this box. I got it because it was $80 box I could get for $40. <laughs> so it's a TX92 uh, AmLogic. 3 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte storage. But after the system, it looks like we're down to almost 26 or 25, a little bit over 25. CPU, you got 8 cores. That says, oh, 32, but no. uh, where are we at? Display, that just tells you your TV. I'm on 1080 TV. Uh, network, I'm not on Wi-Fi. Battery, and that does have ads. Just close out these ads. 
temperature looks 42.4 degrees Celsius. Android version 7.1.2 Nougat. Devices, this is just showing your uh, what's plugged into your USB. Uh, thermal is the important part. So right now we're running right at 44. I don't have a fan or nothing. So we'll keep track on that. But yeah, that's nice and cool there. So I like that. So anyway, let's escape back. Um, let's try to get a... Let's do a benchmark. How's that? And 2-2. Two, two. Benchmark. We will install that. Alright, now let's go back. Let's do Antutu Benchmark 3D. You need the 3D to run the benchmark. But you need them both. You need the Antutu and the Antutu 3D. Alright, so now I'm going to hit my home button. I'm going to go back to settings. Down here to more settings. So we can get to our apps. This and two two. Let's give it the permissions now. Okay, that one's done. So back up and two two benchmark permissions. Let's just click them all on now. I do this because on that 3D it just switches to that 3D and sometimes it doesn't run it because it doesn't have for permissions. So we'll turn developer options on here too. I'm just gonna force stop that now. It looks like it has a force stop app, but alright, so now where are we at? Let's run our benchmark. Try to. Alright. There's our device. TX92. We're going to test it. Now it's going to switch over to the 3D benchmark. Skip the ref refinery but a lot of these do skip the refinery but I'm gonna pause this because this is about 10 minutes long so I'll pause it and I'll come back thought I'd show you a little bit of how it tests and stuff like that it just goes through a few of these uh, scenes but it skips the refinery on a lot of these boxes the better ones, you know, like the Shield and the H96 uh, Max, the Hexacore, the RK3399, it plays them all. But on these, all these other Amlogic, the S912s and stuff, it skips that refinery one, so. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of what it does. You guys can always fast forward these videos, you know. but it's something if you've never done it it's something neat to do just to see what any of your Android devices to see where they pan out compared to the others my shield benchmarks around 220 225,000 uh, my h96 max hex the rock chip 3399 benchmarks about 110,000 
the T95Z benchmarks about 55,000. The Mi Cool was about 48,000. An A4 A box, the piece of junk was about 21,000. All right, I'm gonna pause this again. It's got a ways to go. All right, guys, look like it uh, benchmarked right around 48, right around what the Mi Cool does. The Mi Cool's uh, Android TV operating system. So, but let's uh, check out the CPUs scores. The GPU scores, as you can see, the refinery was not supported. The UX scores. And the memory scores. So, not too bad. Now what I want to do real quick, I'm going to hit my home button. Let's um, open up our A to 64 again. I want to check the temperature because after that, so see how about that temperature, that Antutu benchmark score is pretty hot, pretty hot deal. So I just wanted to see how hot we're running. But usually if a box is going to run hot, it's going to overheat on that Antutu score. But so far it hasn't. It shot up to 58, but it's already dropping. So, And I don't have it elevated or nothing. So in the 50s is, is fine with me as long as it's not glitching or anything. So now... What I want to do, I want to do this kill apps. I want to see if that works. And here, here I'll show you something real quick. Go in the settings. We'll go down this more settings. Apps. See how that says force stop there? Because it's still running in the background. See how that one doesn't say it? This says force stop. This will say force stop. APK time won't because we haven't ran it yet. Mob draw won't. So let's find that kill apps program. Right here. We're going to open that up. So now we'll stop that one. Now all of these should be stopped. see so that kill apps didn't work we'll go and we'll get that force stop it app because that actually does force stop the apps looks like my keyboard just went kapooey so I'm using the remote now But we need a keyboard here. Um, let me plug in my Logitech. Hold on. I'm getting the big dog out here. The Logitech K400. Tech plugged in here. Um, what else do we want to do? <coughs> Let's do a speed test here. Um, apps. Let's get APK time. Let's open that up. 
any APK time, it's got it all. But let's go into the essentials. We're going to get this ES File Explorer Pro. <clears throat> we will install that. Let me see what this has got for tools in here before I go. Oh yeah, we'll go down here, Cody Forks, and we'll get the EUMC. Don't forget to watch the video here. I'll show you real quick. Look at that. Look at that, guys. By yours truly. Alright, let me escape out of there. But that tells you how to set it up and everything and install it. But it's got an awesome APK installer. Between APK time and EUMC. And then that uh, ES File Explorer Pro I just installed. I'll put my Google Drive in there and I have all my APKs in there. But right now we're just going to do a, uh, we're going to search for a uh, speed tester. There we go, tools. Alright, so I don't see a speed tester, so we are going to open up EUMC, and I'm, I'll just show you how to set this up real quick too. There's a little bonus for your unboxing and review video. We'll update the wizard. Just hit continue. We're going to go to the build menu. I like using this 3.0.1 skin. If you're on a phone or tablet, but I think they even made it friendly for this one too. So, And then when we do fresh install. Green is good, red is bad. Green is good, red is bad, so we want to force close. We're going to open it right back up. And see these up here? If you got a fire stick, click on fire stick. Fire TV, click on fire TV. Shield, click on shield. All other Android devices, click on Android devices. I am clicking on Android devices. Right here it says all this stuff, you just write the file. I just leave everything recommended. Because it takes one third of your available RAM at the time of writing this to help with the the buffering, the video cache. So I just, I'm clicking right file. Now I'm going to power out down here. Power out. I'm going to go ahead and just force stop it. I'm going to open it right back up. So now it, it's ready to be, a, it's ready to be used as a player now. For cyber flicks or cinema. So now we can set our weather. 
go over here to this side click on that settings settings location one type in the town or your zip code then click done now I'm in Ashland Nebraska click OK back out now it'll switch to your weather Ashland USA that's my weather so now that's set this right here is what we want APK installer I'm gonna go to miscellaneous APKs I'm looking for a speed tester speed test I heard this SD made is good too so we'll download speed test we're gonna install it we're gonna install it and I'm hoping this has a I'm gonna hit open I'm just gonna open it now guys And see how this you can't see that can you? All right, I'm clicking on that. It's gonna take me here. See how these are all only eleven miles? It takes the nearest one, but here we'll do this real quick. It it chose that one, so I'm gonna hit go. See that ping? That says thirty nine. that ping is just crazy so we're gonna hold on even though it's still a good score I'm gonna hit this X up here in the top left click on that now I'm gonna go search I, I have charter spectrum for my internet so about 146 miles away 135 miles away see that spectrum so I long press on it I'm gonna favorite that server so now I'm testing with my charter spectrum my pings 15 now but you always want to test with the internet provider that you have and I pay for up to a gig and up to 40 for upload up to a gig download and up to 40 so let's do it again the ping usually is yeah, from 9 to 13 so so that's not too shabby at least the ethernet ports getting what I'm paying for alright is that all I want from in the miscellaneous you know what I'm gonna get better open with while we're here we'll download that puppy install it install it hit done go back but right here guys free live TV APKs VOD APKs grab cyber flicks you know what I got a good I got I don't know I like to use cinema the one with the ads so it updates inside the app usually 
but you just load up. I'm not gonna say that's it, guys. I did speed test. We did. I like this box. As you can see, everything is super simple. Hold on, I'll hit my home button after I install this. But I mean, look at this. Here, let's open up this TV center. See what that is. It's got to be some kind of Cody, right? And that's exactly what we got. Let's do uh, system information. Right down here it says Cody 17.4. So I probably won't be using that. I mean, I might play around with it or something. I don't know. But there's plenty of forks in that EUMC. So I just hit my home button again. So there, here's your apps drawer. All the apps I've installed. I don't know what this add-on. Oh, add-on update. Oh, Cody. Let's check that out. Look at that. So you got Cody 16, Cody 17, Cody 18. Cody's local add-ons and personal settings will be replaced. So I'll get into that later. So that's pretty cool got your own little Cody add-on updater but yeah as far as the EUMC or the ES File Explorer Pro first thing I do shut off the recycle bin but you got a downloader built in right there just click this new HTTP your direct links go here name it download now that's how simple that goes um, what else you got we're gonna go to network go to cloud we're gonna go down here to new I'm gonna add my Google Drive hope it wasn't getting this fuzzy all the way through guys all right let me pause this real quick. Almost done. Alright, signing in on my Google Drive. And we're going to go down here. We're going to allow it. And now we got my Google Drive. Every single one of my devices, I have my Google Drive. So I got APKs here. And then each month I just add a new folder full of APKs. Here's the latest one that Sean just sent me yesterday morning, I believe. But you just click on them. That progress it doesn't seem seem like it's going anywhere but then it just boom install yeah we'll open it up And I always set my settings. I'll show you real quick. Settings to play with. 
go back. I'm not even gonna sign into my rail to bread here. I'm just gonna What do we got? And I think he added more uh, free links. That's why I'm not going to sign into the Real Debrid. But the same thing with uh, Cinema. But without Real Debrid, I'd all, I'd for sure grab Cinema and get more PS also. But as you can see, it's. So, EUMC right there. It's already set up to be a player. Top right, it shows it's working, it's working, it's working. free links guys <laughs> uh. alright so I'll come back and I'll sign into my real to bread there did we add in this TV Xeon beta 5 that's a good one matrix is a fork of Morpheus or a clone of Morpheus it's nice and slick get the straps good this media box is good the series guide you can use with cyber and cinema and then of course TTV so that's you're getting some bonuses here tonight guys let's get uh, let's open cinema I'll show you how to use your EUMC on that also so let's go into settings So you can log in. I'll log into my tract and my reel to bread. But what movie were we doing? Ant Man. So you just click your movie. It's gonna pull up this page now, and it's scraping. Don't hit that play button. Scroll down. See all these streams down here. I mean you got ten there's just a ton look at that guys just a ton 720 1080 HD HQ and some of these HD and H some of these HDs are, are nice copies just because they don't say 1080 doesn't mean nothing so we'll just pick this 1080 here look at that. open with the EUMC player up top there it says working or no it doesn't not yet now it does working 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 boom 1080 I'm not going to show too much of that alright there you go guys let's hit my home button we are gonna where's my apps at open our A to 64 now that we've done some more stuff and we are gonna check our thermal and then we're gonna call it a night it's getting up there 66 65 but I didn't see no glitching at all so I just might put some of these uh, water bottle caps but as you can see it's already dropping but I just put a few of these water bottle caps underneath the box here elevated a little bit 
and we'll just run it like that. We'll see how that goes. But as you can see, we did quite a bit. We opened up Cody, we got all the maps going. I will get my fourth stop it app. That should be in my uh, in my Google Drive. Do you guys see it right there? Four stop it. I'll show you that. I'll show you this one actually does four stop the apps. As long as you have a rooted device. So we'll hit done. Go to our settings. See how that's running? It says four stop. So right here this and I think this should be running. There's a lot that there's a lot of them that are running. But watch this. For stop it. We'll open it up. We're gonna hit stop all apps. Stop all apps. Let it do its thing. Now we're gonna force stop this one app. Now we had A to 64 open. Look at not running. We had ES File Explorer, not running. We had EMC, not running. We had Cinema, not running. We had Cyber, not running. We had the Speed Test, not running. Let's do a uh, network. Let me sign in. Let me disconnect my Ethernet. I don't want to sign into that. That's my 2G. Oh, might as well. All right, hold on. I'm going to sign into both of my Wi-Fi's. All right, we're connected to my 2G, so let's just go straight to our apps here. This is 2G. Usually get anywhere from 90 to 110 on my 2G. Because my router is right here. That's there's my Netgear Nighthawk. My modem's back there. So we're pretty close here. All right. So now let's back up. We will force stop this. Sorry, it's taking so long. I'm not used to my this keyboard network. So now I'm going to sign into my 5G. So yeah, that 2G wasn't good at all, guys. So I don't have high hopes for the 5G. Hold on. All right. Now we're connected to the 5G. So let's. Oops. Dang it. Speed test, open that puppy up. Hope 
hopefully 170 at least. So as you can see, the Wi-Fi is not the best, guys. We will stick to hardwire. That's why I have two TVs. I have my shield hooked up to the big screen with the sound bar. And then I have my tower of power back there. And then I have my TV here, my laptop there, me here. Uh, Alright, this was a little long, but yeah, guys, I like this box. It's nice. For $40 especially, but yeah, even $80. I'd give this a... I'd give a T95 the run for the money, but that, the Wi-Fi. So if a Wi-Fi is a deal breaker, then I wouldn't get this box. Ethernet for sure. Here, let's we're plugged into Ethernet now. Let's give her a go. Boom, nine fifty five. So, yeah. If you ever question the stability of Ethernet, hardwired, or Wi-Fi, this is why people always tell you to be hardwired. Most devices, even even if you get good speeds with your Wi-Fi, a microwave, cell phone, somebody else on the same channel, that can all dip your Wi-Fi speeds to disrupt your streaming, so... There you go, my Logitech saved my day on this one, guys. So here, let's see what the power button does. I'm going to hit my home button. I think you got to have it pointed at the bitch. But yeah, dude, that... I like this little, uh... Let's go in the settings real quick. Just back out. Back out. Let's go down to the display. Screen position. So there's where you can zoom in and zoom out. Screen rotation. Oh, it's a, so it's got the forest landscape mode already. That's cool. Um, what else do we want? That's about it, guys. Add your Bluetooth stuff right there. Yep. If we want, we can check the temp one more time. You can never check the temp enough at first when you get when you're learning your device. Sixty three, sixty two, sixty one, sixty two. But yeah, it may it, I've had I have. A, a few fans so if it does start to act up after a while then I'll just stick a fan under it but I'm happy with 60 it's not acting up it's responding to everything oh, sorry <laughs> there. let's see if the volume works volume up yep the volume keys work Let's check this uh, mouse out. I'm hitting the mouse button now. I gotta point it at the thing so you won't be able to see, but that's a mouse button. Yep. You got a nice little cursor there. Now I'm gonna hit the mouse button again. And it goes back. 
So that's a, just the mouse toggle button right there. So mute button, mute works, menu button, I don't know what the menu button does. Home button works, directional pad works fine. YouTube. Let's search, uh, we'll search 4K. I just like to see if it plays without buffering or anything. My TV is not 4K, but you can play these videos and see if it plays smooth. And it is a nicer picture than you you can normally get. So that's what I like to go to YouTube to test the 4K. All right, love you guys. This is an awesome box right here, TX92. I'm loving it for $40 especially. Get that Vipe on app from the Play Store. <laughs> Alright, love you guys. Peace out. Happy streaming.